What up, guys? Spartan85 here. Welcome to day 52 of Pacific Rim. Show you what I have in my inventory right now. I have 904 concrete mix. I have a butt ton of concrete mix. Um, I'm crafting more here. So I have 478 here. And let's get some more crafted. We have uh, some more cement we can start crafting with. So let's get some more. So we have a whole bunch of that crafted. Um, yeah. 1391 basically is what we have right now. I got my uh, my guns repaired. I need to repair the machete, which takes forged iron. So let's grab some forged iron real quick. I believe I have some in here. Somewhere. There's my forged steel. There's my forged iron. Let's repair the machete. And let's grab some... I actually made another pickaxe. It's, oh, it's being crafted right now. It's 18 seconds left of the pickaxe. So I was going to combine those two. I'm also making a steel shovel. So there's the machete. It's repaired. Bring that down. Let's put this stuff up. That's what I was working on last night. There's the extra workbench. I think I'm going to throw that in the uh, mini bike. What I'm thinking about doing. So... There's the other steel pickaxe. It's level 175. So let's put the... Uh, let's grab... The forged steel. Let's repair this one. I know we lost some levels, but... I think this helps a little bit. So let's put 171. Uh, let's put 175. Whoop. Helps if you go to the right thing. Let's go to the workbench. 175, 171. We got a 183. There we go. Steel pickaxe. Let's put all this stuff up. And the shovel's going to take another three minutes. Okay, great. Let's run over to... The horde base over here. And see what's crack a lacking. Been a hot, mi hot minute since I've been over here. I kind of kind of remember what the heck's going on. <laughs> but uh, I think what I, if I remember right, I was going to go up. Let's go up. I thought I heard somebody walking. Oh, helps if I... This. This. Okay, so let's bring down our rebar frames. We need to finish this row here. Bring down our nail gun. Let's go one more row. I don't know if it's a great idea, but uh, it's what we're going to do. I want, it to, I, want it to, I want it to be tall. I made, The last one I made wasn't as tall as I maybe wanted it to be. The one I made in the Builder series, maybe. So I figured, let's go tall now, because it's going to be hard to add on later. Um, after the fact. So let's just do that now. But yeah, glad to be back in this series. I'm really looking forward to getting back in and building a little bit, and... Uh, exploring. I know I said uh, in the next couple episodes we're going to do some exploring, but I kind of figured we'll work on the base as much as we can while we're here. Upgrade this. We can still go to the next, next level of concrete, too. Once everything's dry, we can go to the next level, but we'll wait till everything's dry. This. Okay, now we're gonna take our rebar frames. We're gonna put two there. We're gonna put two on this end. And we're gonna put two, whoop, put them in the right place here. Two right, he right here. And then two right here. Upgrade those. Yeah, I can make that jump. Yeah. No sweat. Okay. Then in the middle, so we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The one, two, three. What's going to be in the middle? One, two, three. One, two, three. So right there, that one that just dried will be the middle. Right there. 
So we'll go one right there. I don't know how I want this to look quite yet. Do I want these to be the same height? I think I do. Like that. Yep, I think that'll work. Okay, so right here, right here. Basically, ever two. I'm going to end up blocking myself in here. That's fine. We can just put rebar frames here. Now, these are this the, the what's going to make it actually look like a watchtower or like a castle. So I'm going I'm going for some aesthetics here. If I said that word right. I never have done this before. I should be upgrading these as I go. Let's just do it. Go. Make that jump. Can't put that one there, can I? Darn it. Go over here. Over here, put that down. Jump over here. This is why I should have upgraded as I went. Oh, I about fell. Just about fell. Here we go. Then we can come over here, put this one down. This one down. Okay. Is it a castle yet? Is it a fortress? I don't know. Uh, how do I get down? That's the next question. Do we just jump? Oh, there it is. I can make it. I can make that. Aha. Well, let's see what this looks like now. Oh, that's badass. Look at that. Maybe could have been a little taller, but I think that's going to be okay. Should I make the... I kind of feel like the top ones should be a little lower. Shouldn't they? I don't know. I feel like the... Or I mean, the top ones. I feel like the middle ones should be just a little lower. I don't know. I'm not worried about taking them out right this second. I mainly just wanted to get this in. Okay, so... I'll take those out later. I'll take those out. I'll wanna have, I, I'm going to go get the auger here in a minute, so I'll just I'll take them out with the auger. It'll be a lot easier to... Cool. Menacing. If I was a zombie, I'd be scared. There's somebody... Oh, come on, man. She did get one scream out. Got a nurse. Oh, we'll just use that. Somebody over here. Harold. Dang it, Harold. Oh, I missed. I'm trying to shoot his nuts. Yeah, there's all kinds of Heralds. What's this, a Harold Ward? There's another one. Man, I cannot shoot. This might be an actual wandering horde. Can't see. I don't know, maybe it is a screamer horde.
goodness. All right. Uh, we'll scrap those. Probably sell the aviator goggles, though. Good on that. I'll take the lead. Ah, dang, guys. It's got to be a wandering horde. I swear I heard a dog. Find a zombie growling. Oh! Reload! Yeah, this is a wandering horde. Man, big wandering horde. Goodness. I like we are starting to get some pretty big wandering hordes, finally. So, uh, leave that. Get the gunpowder. Take all that. Hey, a treasure map! Nice! I haven't had one of those in a while. Alright, we'll take all that. Carl! Okay, goodness, that took a big chunk of my day out. All right, so let's, um, I'm gonna throw this stuff in this drop box here. Done with it. We used up a lot of concrete mix, though. We used up a lot of concrete mix. Where's that treasure at? Let's see. To the southwest? Uh, pretty far out there, but yeah, that might be fun to get. I'd want it to go over here to the east. Way out there. So, okay. So, uh, trying to think. Day 52. The next horde is day 56, I think. Right? Yeah, so... I would like to do a little bit of exploring. I have a little bit of the base I still want to do. And what I want to do is dig a moat around it. Have a moat and then have a drawbridge that connects that you can get into the uh, the base with. So, uh, but I want to go get Taza's Stone Axe and do a little exploring. So let's do that. Because the moat's going to take you know, a, a good a good chunk of a day to dig. And I want to do the moat. I really do. But uh, let's eat some food. Let's make sure we're all uh, booted up. There we go. I'll bring some meat stews and some goldenrod teas. Not sure really how long we're going to be gone, to be honest. I have two first aid kits, so let's... Uh, Make that an even number. I'll just bring my sniper and my magnum. I think that'll be that'll be fine. We'll put the rebar frames up. We should have a new shovel done. Yep. 175. 211. Nice. I think we can leave the sledgehammer here too. I don't think we need that. We need to grab some gas. Do we want to bring the auger? I don't think we need the auger for the uh, the treasure. I mean, I don't, I don't think so. Just, we have a steel shovel. I think that's going to be good enough. Where is my auger? There it is. Okay, so 
Let's go grab the treasure. That'd be a good thing to get. And then we'll head out east to look for Staza Stone Axe. Don't know if we'll get there today. It's southwest. Okay, so let's go there. We'll grab Taza's Stone Axe. We'll do a little exploring out there tomorrow. That's 53. If I can make it back by day 54, that would be nice because I can make it back to dig the moat. Um, and I don't know that I'm going to fill it with water. I might fill it with water. That could be my water source. I just don't know if I want the zombies in the water. I'd, I'd rather have spikes. What I'd rather have. There's an airdrop over there. The northwest. Okay. See where that's at. Not bad. Okay. Rather go get the treasure though. I have a lot of coin and stuff in it. Ammo. What we need. But uh I could have grabbed my trader stuff too and stopped by a trader, but that's that's okay. That's okay. We'll do that maybe before the horde or something. We'll make a trader run, but uh Oh, big drop off. But yeah, so I want to build build a moat. I think I want to fill it with spikes. And then I want to have a, a drawbridge entrance, of course, that we'll be able to make it into the the castle in. Um, you know, I'd like to have elevation. So I, I mean, I'm going to be elevated. That way I can rain down arrows. For, like, mainly explosives. That's what I want to rain down on. I want them in the moats, and I want to rain down explosives on them. And fire. That's what I want. A lot of that. I I might let them in the bottom part of the base, maybe too, but I think the moat's going to be fine. I really do. I think the moat is just going to be great. I've never tried a moat. I've never done anything like this before, so this is going to be brand new. I don't even know how wide the moat needs to be. I'm guessing two blocks. Um, But I don't know. We'll just have to see. All right, well, here we are. Treasure is, I believe, right here. Since we have treasure treasure hunter maxed out, we can basically stand on top of it right here, dig down and get it. There it is. Yeah, easy that is. Love the steel shovel. Sniper rifle stock, 120 rounds of 44 magnum and 177 rounds of uh, shotgun shells. Let me see if that's better than what I'm running. 382. That is a little better. Let me assemble that. We'll replace that, making my sniper rifle just a little better. Okay. That was easy. Uh, where's my bike? Okay, so... We are here. And I would like to go... East. There's my very first town there. What do I have over here? Do I have... Oh, there's a trader down there. I forgot about that. There's that trader. Right there. And what is there? Is, is that another trader? That's storage. Okay. Wouldn't mind grabbing the storages that's along the way. So our first one would be right... Here? Let's check this one out on the way. Yeah, we'll check that one out and just see if there's anything we need. Like, I mean, now we're after brass and lead and gunpowder and glass jars, all that kind of stuff that we need, like for water and stuff. And once I build the moat, I mean, I'll have access to water. I mean, there's just no water in this map. It's just It's just wild. Ow. Never seen a map like this with no water except for what's on the POIs. It actually feels like, you know, Arizona. Or New Mexico, wherever the Navas game actually takes place. Man, these freaking cactuses are literally killing me. We'll get some meat for some meat stews. Maybe. I can stop hacking the, uh, the grass. Uh, is this a ranger station? Yes, it is. Why don't we check this out real quick? Mainly just want the save. 
Somebody inside. Are you the ranger? Ranger crackhead. Crackhead ranger. Nothing. Grab that oil. All right, you guys are going to have to get in here if you want to die. I know that's what you want. Yeah, I'll let them figure out what they want to do, if they want to come inside or what. Okay, we're in the safe. That was quick. Hunting rifle receiver, pistol grip, hunting rifle parts, shotgun long barrel, a bunch of just crap, mainly. Stuff I really don't need. I could sell all this to the trader, to be honest. There you are. That's a steel axe do for a weapon. Not very good. <laughs> Alright, we'll grab all that. Okay. Uh, just a little bit further to the east. All we gotta do is get to our uh, next point of interest over here. Alright, here is our storage. What is this? Passing gas? Is this the one we were at just recently? I don't remember the Ostrich Hotel. Um. Oh, we're going to have to kill these zombies. Darn it. Oh, Harold! I can hit him. Trying to hit him with the freaking machete. Imagine whacking zombies with a machete in real life. God, this machete's awesome. All right. Hey, Mosive. One shot. Who else wants some? Man. Got John Wick vibes now. If you did miss it, um, Steve and I did a stream the other night where we played John Wick, the John Wick playthrough on PC, which was just an absolute blast. So if you missed it, it's still up on the live part of my channel. If you want to go watch it. A uh, lot of fun, though. Let's combine some of these parts. Um, like, we have shotgun parts we can combine with the shotgun long barrel. Um... Hunting rifle parts can go with the receiver. That's all we can really combine right now. Anything in here we need? Not really. Ow! What? Sneaky. Sneaky dude with one piece of wood. I mean, maybe the mushroom spores, but I have so many mushroom spores. I think we're good. Let's just take this one off the map so we don't even come back. So let's remove. Okay, so our next one is on the way. Is that a traitor? Oh, that's the one that has the forge, maybe? Why does that have the house on that? Well, actually, that's the, uh, oh, that's, I remember that. That's the army base that I did have some storage at. Okay. Let's go, let's go to this one here. That's more on the way. I have one way out here. Yeah, let's go out there. Don't know if we'll make it there tonight, but we'll certainly try. Even if we have to go through the night just a little bit, that's... Totally okay. I'm not worried about it. I am kind of contemplating maybe increasing the zombies or increase the zombie speed, maybe. Usually when I do that, I die. I get a little too cocky and I die. 
and I say permadeath, and then I die, and then the series... And I'm not trying to end the series early, I'm just like, I kind of want to ramp up the... the difficulty a little bit, because it's maybe a little too easy, but... Uh... I know the minute I do that, and I don't really want to bump it up to, like, survivalist, because then they just become bullet sponges. And, I don't know, I'd rather have faster zombies, I think that's more of a challenge than just bullet sponge zombies, but... I don't know. Oh, what I want to do. What do you guys think? Should we bump up the zombie speed or just keep it how it is? Um, and should we keep murdering deer like this? I think so. That's the way the good good lord intended it. Right here with a mini bike. And that right, feller. Because I'm getting dirt. <laughs> uh, where's my bike? There we go. All right, well, here we are. I don't remember this house at all. It's not, we're not in the snow biome. It's just snowing in the forest. <laughs> all that's going on here. Cowboy hat, grab the coin. Ah, you almost got me. Let me kill her first. Ooh, a blood draw kit. Those sell nice. 520. Yeah. Nice. What do we got in here? Yeah, I do kind of vaguely remember this one. Okay, a couple wrenches, a hoe, shotgun parts, um, coal, egg. We have to make a trader run. Um, the wrenches would be nice to throw in the forge. Let's put the dirt up. We don't need that. The plant fibers. The, uh, rotten flesh. I'll drink the one water. Let's grab the nitrate and the coal. Um, I have one shotgun part. I believe I can put that with the shotgun long barrel. Yep. Grab the brass. Oh, lots of... There's all my glass jars. 92 glass jars. That's where they've all been hiding. All right. Nice. Let's come out here. God dang it. Come on. I hate that. Oh, I have a pistol in here that I forgot all about. We'll just throw... Um, Gun parts in here, the gas. Glass jars. Workbench, too. I'll throw the workbench in there, too. Which, that's one thing we could do with all the gun parts. We could combine them with... I don't have any a lot of guns on me right now, though, so... It's really a problem. Okay. I don't have a lot of shotguns and stuff on me, so I can't really combine any parts right now. But we'll grab these. Uh, we'll grab the hoe. We'll grab the flashlight. The leather sells for 300. We'll sell that probably or keep it. One of the two. Uh, we'll grab the eggs. Why not? Actually, let me grab those mechanical parts because we need a bunch for, I believe, the what's the drawbridge. So, okay, so let's go, let's remove this one off the map. Oh, we could. Has loot respawn in here? Yes, it has. Oh, nice. Does this one have a safe in it? I don't think so. No, it doesn't have a safe. Ah, shotgun short barrel. Okay, we'll grab that. Nothing. And shotgun slit schematic. We'll just read it. There's really anything else in here I really want to loot. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So, from here... What is that up there? Is that another storage up there? In the road? Huh. 
Let's go grab that one. Not sure uh, what that one's doing up there for. I I vaguely remember coming this way. I think I was coming the other direction down that road, I believe. I vaguely remember putting that there. Or should we just go get Taza? I don't know. We should let's go get that first. It's not far. See what we have there, and then we'll run out and grab a Taza stone axe. What do we got here? A trailer park? Cool. Now that I have the steel axe, it's not a bad idea to hop in there. Um, I wouldn't already do it something. But yeah, that's not a not a horrible raid if you have a way to get into the to the steel doors. That is. All right, it's officially night. Zombies are running. Except for that one. Where's my storage box? Where's Mo? Ah! Did I... Why did I put a storage box here? Is there maybe a treasure? That I dug out here? I don't see anything. This is... And, and I agree, Ted... This is why Ted said, you know, elevate your, your chest just for this reason right here when you come back. Just so you can find them, because if it is here, I can't find it. Okay, that's all right. Let's, uh, oh, there's dead Mo, A painkiller, okay. Well, with that said, let's take this one off the map, I guess. And let's run out and get Taza's stone axe. And we also have a crossroads there in the snow biome. Let's go out here. To the east. Let's see if we can grab Taza's stone axe. Real fast. Um, not that I really need it now. I have all the great tools, but it is a fun thing to have. And I just want to show you guys where it's at. And just in case you are a newer player, you can kind of see how to get it too. You know, as I'm driving out here, what I totally forgot to bring was the auger. I actually mentioned bringing... Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's a cool-looking cave! What else do we have? I hear something else. Totally forgot to bring the auger, though. Shot her leg off. See somebody else. It's not loaded. All right. Hey, a vitamin. Well, this is cool. Look at that in there. All right. I can see the other side over here. Is there like another entrance? Sometimes they come out like over here. Ooh, what is that? A ranger station? Trying to form in? All right, well, let's mark this one on the map. Uh, we can always come back here to get some nitrate. Yeah, it looks like it's just the one spot. Usually you'll see another entrance, like another black spot, like over here. You'll have like another entrance to the, uh, the mine or something like that. So, but yeah, as I was saying, I totally meant to bring the auger to do mining so I can grab some oil shell. <laughs> uh, we're going to run through a lot of gas digging this, uh, what's who's there digging in this moat. So, um, so I should have brought the auger. I should have dug up some oil shell, but that's okay. We're not far from... The desert where we live, I mean, it is just a short jaunt to the, to the east. You can always run out and get it real quick if we have to. 
Okay, we're getting closer to Taza's stone axe. Should see it render in here in a few minutes. Every random gen I've ever had, it's always next, like, close to a trader. So maybe we have a trader close by. Like, usually within, like, eyesight. I don't know if that's ever happened for you guys. But I've only found it twice on random gen. Like, twi two different worlds I found it. Ah, take that back three. Three times. It's usually not something I usually go for, but man, it's just such a... Oh, here it is. Usually clustered by trees. Usually do have some zombies nearby. A lot of zombies. All right, let's dance. Try to reload when I can. We are going to have a lot. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of zombies. Come on, guys. Oh, boy. That's getting hairy. Oh, gosh. Harold's on my tail. We have a ranger station up there. Time to run. Rotten flesh, I'm good. That's most of. I think this got the rest of crawlers, I think. Painkillers. Actually, let me uh, let me pop that painkiller for one of them. Need to uh, my health up, and I got plenty of green teas. Really? Four shots? I swear, crawlers take more damage, man. I swear they're like bullet sponges. Ah, gunpowder. Okay, so let's drink some green teas. I'll drink this one water, too. Let's get a main inventory. We'll eat some meat stews. Okay. I think we're finally left alone. So we do have a ranger station up there if we need a place to stay for the night. All right, so normally what you do is you come over... Um... Usually it's right underneath. I really hope I'm doing this right. There it is. It's usually directly underneath. You just dig down. You don't it's not in the stone, it's under the uh Oh, I got coins. I didn't get Taza Stone Axe! Oh, that sucks. Might have to see if it respawns, maybe. There are coffins underneath these rocks. Gunpowder, usually nothing gray. I mean, it's just like normal coffins, but man, that sucks. Here, I was hoping to get taught. I knew, I do know you, I've heard people say they do get coin. Nothing. Nothing. I really should just harvest these stones too, but that's okay. There we go, shotgun schematic. Come on. Nothing. Uh, I'm just gonna scrap the iron arrowheads. Okay. Scrap that. This is their last one here. Ah, 
Yeah, some fertilizer. Um, sure. I will get rid of the plant fibers, and yeah, that'll work. Okay, well, that's a good place to end the episode, guys. Um, we have the... that. Oh, that's not a ranger station. I thought that was a ranger station. That's just like the house I'm in right now. So, we're all the way out here. We're pretty far east. I wouldn't mind going to see where the... Ra I think the radiation zone is really close, because there's the edge of the map right here, so... Maybe seeing where radiation zone is, it's right there. And maybe so we can pick up another trader out here to see what's out here. Um, and then, ah, look at this. This goes all the way north, too. All the way north. We have a trader we haven't been to there. So we could check out these roads, too, see where they all go. And we have a lot to explore up here. So maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Maybe we'll do some exploring tomorrow. So, all right, guys, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See ya.